Hey there, it's Jim. It's uh, January 5th, uh, Thursday. Uh, doing up a uh, 372, just a rebuild. Needed crank bearings and seals and everything. So, uh, um, and it had actually uh, squeaked a piston, so the piston is no good. Um, cylinder, I'm saving it. I'll just show you what I'm up to here. Okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, so cylinder for the uh, 372 um, that's the old style it's not next torque it's a good one um, pistons junk but uh, saving the cylinder there's no actual gouges or grooves in it um, camera always makes these things look a little worse than they are but uh, just went around it with the little flap wheel here on the die grinder and uh, and now I got some of these uh, red Scotch Bright ones here. Bit of brake clean on everything, and we'll just uh, keep going after it that way. And then uh, uh, kind of stick this here in on the drill, and um, basically hone that that way last. Um, find it. Uh, just basically make sure that uh, we get everything cleaned up and then give it kind of like a hone so we uh, get some cross hatching back in there. Make sure that uh, our rings actually seat good. And um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, I guess. Um, everybody's got a different way of doing stuff, but uh, this is what I find works for me. Um, you can go as coarse with stuff as you want, but. Uh, like I said, this one's not too bad. If you've got a lot of aluminum transfer on it, then um, you're going to have to work quite a bit harder to clean that aluminum off first. Uh, most of these ones, if they got the Nicosil coating like the uh, OEM jugs do, um, then uh, you've got some pretty durable material to work against. And... Um, that's pretty much it, I guess, yeah. Uh, muriatic acid after you uh, get as much of the bulk of it off, but you don't want to leave that on there too long. So, anyways, have a good one.